Hello, welcome to this yin yoga session. I'm delighted to have you join me today. So as always, please just do what you feel comfortable with. Yin is all about sinking and releasing, being supported, so we can just let go. So we're going to place ourselves with our bolsters and cushions, make sure you've got lots of things to hand that will work for you today. And we're gonna start in Balasana, child's pose. So we're going to come to kneeling and have a bolster right nearby. Okay, so let's have a few nice deep breaths to settle everything. So maybe close your eyes if you're comfortable to. Leave them open if you prefer. Of course, it's all about you doing what feels right for you. It's your practice. So we'll inhale together. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, and keeping this lovely rhythmic breath throughout. So if kneeling isn't comfortable for you and folding falls into child's poses, then you can pop a cushion, half moon cushion or whatever you've got underneath your bottom. So by all means do that if that makes it a, a better place for you to be. It's all about finding your place. And I'd like you to bring your bolster or cushions in front of you. Bring your knees slightly apart so you can draw the bolster in between your knees. And then we're going to relax forward. So it's all about the letting go. So slide your hands forward. Place either cheek to your bolster. If you prefer your head central, you could pop a cushion underneath your forehead so that you can breathe comfortably here and have your head to centre. So whatever works best for you. And then just sink and release. So check your shoulders, they're lovely and relaxed. Just let them drop. Face soft. And just letting go. And if you have one cheek to your bolster, gently turn your head the other way so you don't get a neck ache and settle into this position.
and start to gently lift your upper body, easing up. Lovely, well done. So we're going to have the bolster sideways now. You're going to sit just in front of the bolster and we're going to have the feet together. So let me just show you while I'm sitting. So we're going to have the feet together, our soles of the feet, and I want your knees to be supported. So you could either put another cushion underneath your knees, if this is a good height for you, or if you prefer, you can put a cushion under each hip. But I want your knees supported. You might need a couple of cushions to pile them up quite high if your knees are up here. You'll need more cushions, all right? So have them ready. And then we're going to have the bolster supporting our spines. We're going to sit just in front of it. You can then draw the bolster in close to you and then bring the soles of your feet together. Pop your cushions underneath, as many as you need. So your hips are nicely supported and then ease down onto your bolster. So take your time, nothing's rushed. Make sure your head is supported. You might want another cushion under your head. If this is a more comfortable position for you, then please choose that option. And then bring your arms out to shoulder height and let your whole body settle here. Sinking and releasing. Check your shoulders are soft. Smooth, relaxed breath as you let go. Just be with the stillness and the silence as you breathe and release. Feel the gentle movement in your body as you breathe. The chest rising and falling. Your rib cage expanding and relaxing.
Whenever you notice your mind has wandered, if you can, drop that train of thought and gently come back to your breath. And take your time to gently ease up. And lean into your elbows, your hands, whatever's comfortable for you. Move your cushions to the side. the legs forward, let them settle. And then we're going to come to supported diamond pose. So I'd like you to place your right foot next to your left calf and then your left foot to your right foot. So again, I want the knees supported. So you could pop the same cushions back under your knees or different ones. If your knees are really high up here, you may well like to sit on a cushion. So you want your bottom nicely supported and that might help to just relax a little bit further into position. So whatever works for you. So I think I'm going to put this under my knees. That's nice. And then we're going to relax the upper body forward. So again, I want you to be supported. So use your bolster. Your cushions, pile them up as high as you need to make it a nice height for you. Whatever cushions you've got, make a little nest. And then relax your upper body forward, so easing down. And let the head drop either one cheek or you can have your forehead resting on another cushion. Whatever feels more comfortable for you today. Let's let your body settle, shoulders soft. Make sure it's a really nice, comfortable stretch, gentle, gentle stretch. Feel supported. If you have one cheek resting to your cushions, gently turn your head the other way.
If your mind has wandered, gently bring it back to your breath. And gently lift your upper body, easing up. Lovely. Move your cushions. Relax your legs away. Okay, so we're going to come to toe stretch now. So come to kneeling. So we're sitting on our heels. Again, if you want to put a cushion underneath your bottom, that's fine, if that feels better for you. And then we're going to look to lean back slightly. So you're gonna stretch down your feet. So we're looking to lift the knees off the ground. Now, if this is really tricky for you, or if you feel you're already getting a good stretch by kneeling or with a, kneeling with a cushion, then stay where you are. Just breathe into that stretch. If you can take it back a little bit and it feels awkward, you could pop a cushion under your knees so you're supported here. If you feel more comfortable and can lean back further, just take it to wherever you can and then breathe here. So nice and relaxed, settle into your breath. We're not going to stay here as long as the other poses. We're breathing into wherever you are. And gently bring your knees down. Good. And we're going to come back to Balasana, Child's Pose. So bring your bolster back in front of you. Bring your knees apart. And as before, settling down onto your bolster. Have it as high as you need. You can always have more. And then settling into your position. Check your shoulders are relaxed.
If you have one cheek to your bolsters, cushions, then turn your head gently. And settling here, check your shoulders again. Just you and your breath and the stillness. And gently lift your upper body, easing up. Good, well done. So now come and settle in Shavasana. So come in to lay on your back, sink and release. Let your whole body sink and release into the surface beneath you. Let the ground hold you, support you, so you can release and relax completely, surrendering to Shavasana, just letting go. Check your shoulders and face. And just enjoy the stillness for a few minutes.
I'll be back to your breath if your mind has wandered and have a few nice deep nourishing breaths. Gently rock your head. Move your fingers and toes, feet and hands. And stretch your arms over your head, big stretch through the whole body. And relax. Hug your knees into your chest. And gently circle your knees. Change direction. Stay at centre and ease up to sit. Lovely. Well done. I do hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for joining. And I look forward to our next session together. Namaste.